Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to the middle of the day market update. We have uh, some things to talk about. Um, in general, I would say, I mean, if you if you look at the moves we're, we're seeing right now, like some of these moves, some of these bullish moves happened after I made my Bitcoin video. Um, but I would say the situation is still the same. And I would even go as far as saying, <clears throat> if you still remember my middle of the day market update yesterday, um, that, that's pretty, uh, that, that the, the situation actually is pretty similar to the situation right now. But we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about the German government selling some Bitcoin because they have been at it again today. And uh, I believe today they've actually sent away um, most Bitcoin they've ever done since they started selling Bitcoin. Um, well, the market has been relatively bullish, so that's uh, that's a good sign. But in the end, I mean, the market right now, when we talk about the market structure, yesterday what I told you is that we got some nice bullish momentum, but that we still needed to break above 58,400 to really turn that bullish momentum into a bullish market structure. And I still think the situation is, is the same, all right? We, we broken above this level here at 56,700. Um, which is evidently, as you can also see, an important level. Um, and, and we've been holding that. And with that bearish momentum we had uh, earlier earlier this uh, this afternoon or this morning after the, the bullish move, um, we also respected that so far, but we need to get a breakout above 58,400, 58,600, uh, basically this area right here. We need to break above that in order for us to, to rally up higher, but also to, to really turn this into a bullish market structure and not just uh, some momentum and a double bottom. All right, so that's what we're waiting for. And in the end, I mean, if we if we uh, look at the markets right now, and we'll look at some other altcoins in a moment, all right, so, so don't worry. Uh, but if you look at the markets right now, I would say, um, I, I kind of, but it's partially based on feelings, I kind of expect a bullish breakout. I think um, we showed some nice momentum right here. We saw some de-risking by some uh, major position holders, right? So some shorts were being closed. The one thing we, we miss is that breakout. And the one thing that would cause the breakout is momentum. Uh, and we lose and, and, and we and we lack momentum as well. You can see the CBD is actually positive here. But the open interest is not really going up. So what that means is that a lot of short positions has uh, have been opened. Uh, have been closed, excuse me, and there's been a bit, there's been a bit of a conversion from shorts into longs, uh, because the open interest is also not down even though the shorts have been closed. So that is positive, but you still need to to see some sort of an increase as well, uh, instead of just a conversion. So that's what we're waiting for together with the breakout. Uh, when we talk about news, we have some major economic news tomorrow, Wednesday and Friday, I believe, mainly on Wednesday. And uh, no, uh, well, Tuesday and Wednesday we have um, we have a, a Powell from the from the from the Federal Reserve speaking. Thursday is the biggest day, and Friday Friday we actually don't have much. Um, so that's going to be interesting if we look at the dollar strength index right now, which is always negatively correlated with Bitcoin. Uh, that continues to be bearish, which is bullish for Bitcoin. And then the German government, as you can see right here, has actually sent away like over a hundred million dollars in Bitcoin. Uh, into uh, into Bitstamp, Coinbase, Flow Traders, uh, B2C2 Group, Kraken, Cumberland. The one change though is is that right now, actually most has been uh, sent to Flow Traders, B2C2, Cumberland, and B2C2 earlier this morning as well. Those are OTC desks, all right. So those won't be sold in the open markets, which I would say is bullish. That's perhaps also the reason why we are holding on to levels relatively well right here. Um, but at this at this rate, I mean, they've if you if you if you uh, put all of this together, I think they've sold over like three thousand uh, Bitcoin today. Which if they keep doing that, then in two weeks this is all over. Uh, so I would actually say the developments of today um, are relatively bullish. Now it could also be that they still have to sell off some Bitcoin, which could uh, cause some some bearish momentum. But like I said. We're waiting, if, if we look at Bitcoin, we're waiting for a breakout, all right? If we break down below 56,800 right here, then we know that it's it's most likely that we had some nice momentum, but that we will actually drop back down. Uh, so wait for the confirmation. I would say the fundamentals are getting slightly more bullish with the bearish dollar strength index and with the Germans uh, ramping up their, their selling. But confirmation is key, all right? Then if we look at altcoins, it's uh, most of the altcoins are actually uh, related to Bitcoin. Some of them, like Bonk, is actually performing relatively well here. 
If you look at that on a 12 hour time frame, it's consolidizing. Four hours is relatively bullish. I don't really have any setups on this. Uh, last week, I, I longed the breakout of uh, 2450. Worked quite well, but I, I don't really see any indication of why that would work again. And then if we look at some other coins, uh, A's is, is relatively, uh, relatively volatile right here. Could still rally up higher. Think it has potential. Um, and there are some other cryptos like, uh, uh, what is it? Notcoin, obviously still very bullish. If we can get a bigger, a, a more, um, more valid breakout right here, I think we can rally up to that two cent level. Uh, Solana is still relatively bullish here, but it's very dependent on that breakout of Bitcoin. Um, meme coins in general, like n not not completely, but meme coins in general look quite strong. Like with, um, I also got some bullish alerts on that one. I think Pepe actually has some potential to, to rally up higher here. Uh, so keep your eyes on those. Turbo as well. If, if we get a breakout above a half a cent here, I think that has potential. And then apart from that, I, I think that's it. All right. There are some other smaller cryptos like Dimension, Saga and uh, Evo that are looking quite interesting. Uh, but those would be too risky, I would say. All right. So main thing to watch is Bitcoin, 58,500 uh, to break above. And for now, I think that's what you need to know. Uh, about uh, about the markets today so if you do have any questions let me know for now thank you for watching take care and bye